All right, let's go over this question here. Which equation corresponds to the graph shown? So I want to talk about each of these, but a quick overview is the all of these have no parentheses. No parentheses, no parentheses is basically standard form. And then the question is, what's the advantage of standard form? ax squared plus bx plus c. The a value tells you if it opens up, right, positive people smile, or sad face, depressed people are always down. And then the c value is actually your y-intercept, right? It's the order pair uh, zero comma the number, right? So this is the y-axis and my cross like there, okay? So let's use this and figure out which one to use. Let's start with h. y equals x squared minus 10x plus six, okay? Um, this opens up, which our graph has. And then our y-intercept is 6. Well, whoops. If you look at our graph, if you look at our graph here, 6 would have been way up here. In our graph, let's just use our graph here. Um, negative 3, negative 6, uh, negative 9. Around negative 9, or maybe like negative 10, OK? That's my y-intercept, that's the answer. And if I need to, I have some x-intercepts over here. This might be like x equals five, I don't know. This one might be like x equals negative three. And this graph opens up. So that means my a value is positive. Okay, so it can't be this one because the y-intercept is negative nine is positive nine, so not this one. Okay, let's go to j y equals x squared minus 11x minus 10. Okay, this is promising. This one has a y-intercept that is negative 10. That's good. This one opens up. So that's good. Okay, now we have to do a little bit more work and figure out um, its x-intercept. So let's see if we can factor this one. a times c is negative 10, and the b value is negative 11. Two numbers that multiply to be 10 or 1 and 10. And I can't think of a combination of positive and negatives that multiply to be negative 10, because what happens if I put this one? That equals negative 10, but if I add those together, it equals a negative 9. And if I do it over here, negative 1 times 10 is negative 10, but you add those together, it equals a positive 9, okay? Which means it's not factorable. And this would be pretty difficult um, to find the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, you would probably have to use the quadratic formula. So I'm not going to totally eliminate that one, but that was not fun. OK, let's try this one over here. Let's try g. x squared plus 7x plus 10. So this one has a y-intercept of positive 10. And remember, we're trying to look for a negative 9. So that one we can eliminate. And let's look at g. x squared minus 3x minus 10. We have a y-intercept of negative 10, so that matches. Um, my graph here, my a value is 1, so this is positive, so it's going to open up, so that's good. Let's see if we can factor this and see if we can find the x-intercepts. a times c is negative 10. My b value is negative 3. Two numbers that multiplied to be negative 10 are 5 and 2. Um, and if I make this 5 here negative, negative 5 times 2 equals negative 10, negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 3. So this is good. We can have an answer that looks like this. Let's just say I want to solve for x. You're going to have to set each of those equal to 0. So let's go ahead and do that x minus 5 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0, 
and at five both sides will go x equals five and x equals negative two, right? Subtract two from both sides, and that matches, right? You have a positive five and a negative three or negative two matches here and matches here. So our answer, our answer is going to be F. Hope that was helpful. See you guys.